Hello and welcome back to this video. Um, in the last video, we looked at how to create this animated um, UV set. Now, what I want to do here is uh, sort of build up upon this. Okay, so, and I want to implement some of the elements that we have learned before. So if you've gone through the other videos, um, the rest of uh, this material in order to get a very simple, um, a very simple war material is pretty easy. So this is already stuff we've covered before. I just want to show how uh, we can build upon this and uh, start to build out uh, more complicated uh, networks here. So before we do that, I want to go ahead and uh, start to comment some of this off. So I'm going to pull this over here. I'm going to press the C key to make a comment. And uh, I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, let's select this. Select this comment box and we're going to call this, um, animated UVs and uh, we could create a, a simple one here so we can call this watercolor And uh, we'll just we'll just leave these the rest how they are. Here. So, in order to build up on the rest of this material, okay, we need to use the translucent material. Uh, sorry, the translucent uh, lighting mode, blend mode. So we go from opaque to translucent, and we also need to scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and we need to change the translucency um, lighting mode back to that element surface. Okay. So if we just press save and uh, we just have a quick look at what we have, we should get something that looks fairly simple to what we already have already. So you can see it doesn't look as if it's changed much. So uh, we're going to add some opacity. So I'm going to press uh, one, okay, to bring in a constant one vector. And I'm going to give this a 0.25 of a translucency. And now we're going to plug this in. So translucency to here. So now you can see we actually have some uh, translucency. And if we save this, and uh, let's just wait for this, and we go back, you can see that now we have uh, some translucency in here. Now, if you remember correctly, we had a list of index of reflection. Okay, so this is where it comes in important. If we go here. Uh, we see we have water, and we have water at gas level, 100 uh, degrees C, 20 degrees, and we're going to go for 35, which is room temperature. So you see it says 1.33157. So I'm going to copy this. And uh, let's jump back into Unreal. And uh, let's set up what we set up before. So we had a uh, linear interpolate. So let's press and hold the L key. And we want to linear interpolate between a value of 1 and a value of, uh, it was 1.33, etc, etc. So we're going to plug 1 into A, uh, B into 1.332. And for that alpha, we're going to use that Fresnel. So let's uh, plug this over here. And let's plug this into the uh, refractions. And let's save this. So now you can see we have this very simple, very basic water uh, material here. Now there are a few things we need to look at if we're building a full material here, like like the intersection of objects and death by samplers and, and uh, things of that nature. Okay, but uh, for the purposes of uh, this video, I mean we're just expanding upon uh, what we have. Um, we could actually add that death bias alpha if we want. So let's see if we pull this out and let's just comment these off. So I'm gonna press C. And I call this uh, IOR for index of reflection. Okay, and the depth bias alpha goes into the opacity here. Okay. 
So uh, let's see, we want this depth fade. And we want to plug this 0.25 into the opacity. And then we plug this into here. And uh, now we have this value of zero uh, up to 100. So what this is going to do for us is if we look as this intercepts uh, this chrome, this might be a little bit difficult to see. So let's change this material to something we've used before. So let's select this and apply here. So it may be difficult to see, but as this bar intercepts, there's no um, fade there. So if we change this value to say maybe around 50 and then save this. Okay. So as you can see now, as it, as it enters, uh, where it's intersecting into this object, there's more of a fade, which just really gives it much more of a, a realistic um, appearance here. Okay. So um, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and um, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.